Lights, camera, action. Hello, my name is Lenny Abramson and I am a film director. The film director is sort of responsible for how a story is told when it's on TV or in the cinema or on screen. Right from the beginning, you might be involved in creating the story or working with the writer who's writing the story or writing the script. And then it's your job to find the actors who you want to play the parts that are in the, the film or the TV show. And then you gather a crew around yourself. So you work with a whole bunch of different people, like a, a camera person, a sound person, people to do makeup, somebody to do the wardrobe and the costume, all people who are involved in painting the sets or finding the locations, lots and lots of different people. When you've gathered all those people, you start to shoot the film. And that's where you all gather together with the cameras and the sound equipment and all the lights and everything and the actors. And you start to shoot the different scenes for your uh, TV show or your film. And when that's done, you take all the material that you've shot and you work with somebody called the editor and you sit together and you put those shots in order the way you think they should go until what you have is a finished film. And that's the thing that either maybe it's a piece of TV goes on television or it's a film, if you're lucky, goes into the cinema. Um, and that's, yeah, you sort of oversee the process from the beginning to the end. When you're shooting, the crew could number anything from like 25 to 250 people. And so there are lots of jobs that you can do. Apart from being a director or being a writer or being a producer, there's the person who is in charge of gathering and finding the cast. And that person's called the casting director. Well, there's like the location manager. That's a person who goes and finds the places that you need. And then when you're shooting, you've got like the person who does makeup. You've got carpenters who build things. You've got painters who paint the sets. You've got designers and you've got uh, electricians who are responsible for putting up all the lights. There are lots of opportunities in the world of film and television for doing really interesting things. Not all of them are connected to directing and writing. He's That's right. lovely that he's like that watching yeah. you. I would do exactly that, Jake. I never thought about making films or television when I was a kid because it just felt like an impossible uh, kind of fantasy, really. Like, I wouldn't have known how to start. I didn't know anybody in my world or my family who had ever done anything like that. Um, and at that time, as I grew up in Ireland through my teens, there wasn't really a lot of stuff being made here. There wasn't really a kind of role model uh, in my teens that would have, I would have said, oh, I could do that. If that person, if that Irish person can do it, I could do it. But then I started, to, I tuned into, um, People like Jim Sheridan and Neil Jordan, they're two Irish film directors who had a lot of success, uh, particularly 80s and 90s. And as I was kind of coming to the end of my teens, I was thinking, wow, well, if they can do it, maybe I really could do it. And I was lucky because I had a friend at that point, somebody called Ed Guiney, who um, was also really passionate about films. And he, we, were in, we were in college together and he said, why don't we set up a group to make things? You, you know, we've always talked about it, so why don't we try and do it? But we did, we raised some money, we bought some equipment and we started to make stuff. And I think it was at that point, probably aged about 19, 18, 19, that I started to really think, wow, well, maybe this could work out. And that was, that was it. And I started to make things. What's nice is that it's a nice feeling when people respond to the things that you do and you know so awards are part of that you know um so I've been lucky and I've got some awards uh along the way uh, people ask about awards and, and are they important and I think they're important in the sense that they help bring attention to the things that you do so people know that if if they hear a film won a, a prize or got nominated for an Oscar or whatever um they're more likely maybe to watch it so that's good and also for the people, all the people that were involved in making it, it's like a thumbs up. The film that I made that got sort of the biggest 
attention really and the most kind of awards nominations and things was was Room and Room got nominated for four Oscars so it was nominated for Best Picture and um, Best Director which was for me which was amazing and um, Best Screenplay and Best Actress which was Brie Larson. Brie Larson was the main act actress in uh, Room and she then went on to be Captain Marvel so Brie is Captain Marvel and Brie actually won the, the Oscar that year so I was at the Oscars and I was nominated, which meant that I got to sit in those fancy front seats. And when they come to your category and they say, and the nominees for best director are, and then uh, a camera comes in front of you. And then you have to sit there and try not to look completely panicked while they say the name of the winner. And when it's not you, because it wasn't me, um, you have to kind of uh, look really happy for the person that did win and try not to look really miserable because you didn't win. <laughs> So people ask me about, you know, working with what sort of actors I work with and who they are and whether they'd know them and go through, uh, go through it. So Donald Gleeson, who I've worked with on two projects, uh, who's a brilliant Irish actor and is the son of Brendan Gleeson. Brendan Gleeson you'd know from um, Harry Potter and uh, Paddington and all sorts of great projects like that. Um, Donal, uh, is also in Star Wars. He plays General Hux in the Star Wars films. And so that was amazing, uh, you know, to watch him be in something so huge. And I worked with um, a brilliant, another brilliant Irish actor called Michael Fassbender, who he's in the, I think he's in, kids would know maybe best, like the X-Men um, films. He plays Magneto, I think. I've been really lucky. I've worked with lots of... Uh, famous people or people who went on to become famous and um, but the, the thing that that's most interesting about them is that they're usually just really good at what they do um, and they're famous because they can do something really well rather than just being famous for being famous. <laughs>